When I was little, my mother told me when something was bad, like giving a cat a bath or fighting with my sister or even just wasting water. But as I got older, I started defining good and bad by the consequences of actions on how something affects something else. But now that I'm even older, nothing seems quite as black and white as it did when I was little. And this was certainly the case as I investigated gas drilling in Pennsylvania. I learned about a church in Mount Lebanon that owns more than 300 acres of property near Washington, Pennsylvania. Land sits above valuable natural gas deposits known as Marcellus Shale Gas. Numerous energy companies approached the church about the land, and after a two-year decision-making process, the church recently signed a lease with AB Resources allowing drilling on the land. I interviewed the pastor of this church, and he explained hydrofracturing, which is the process used to extract natural gas from the ground. The process is they will drill a, hor a vertical well that will eventually curve and go out horizontally, and the horizontals can be from a half a mile to a mile out, okay? After they get the, 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 the drill in the ground and the pipe in the ground out this process, they will force water to, into, the, into, the, um, into the pipe, and, and they will put blockages on it where they want to push it out into the Marcellus Shale so that it literally fractures. Okay, when that, when that fracture occurs, what happens is gas seeps up into those areas that have split apart and into the line and then back and, and, and goes out. So the use of the water is a one-time deal. They do the fracking and then they're done. Now, the water does come back up and it is, that's what needs to be disposed. You know, water is essential to life. And of course, we have to bring it from the reservoir to where we want it, sometimes as much as 100 miles to a great city at a distance, and then deliver it to the individual houses, so that when you want the water, all you do is reach out and turn on a tap, like this. Um, it is already affecting the city water supply. Um, they are already dumping wastewater in, into certain treatment facilities along the rivers already. Um, it's also um, potentially to groundwater, although the city doesn't really have a lot of groundwater uh, and wells inside of it. Uh, a number of the outside counties do, and any anything you put down far enough will get into the aquifer and affect a much larger area. According to a February Associated Press article, the mixture of water and chemicals that resurfaces after the hydraulic fracturing process can be, quote, five times saltier than seawater and laden with dissolved solids such as sulfates and chlorides, which conventional sewage and drinking water treatment plants aren't equipped to remove. The article goes on to explain that the water from the drilling sites is usually hauled to sewage treatment plants in the city, processed and then dumped into Pittsburgh rivers. In October 2008, the levels of dissolved solids in the Monongahela River spiked above government standards due largely to the processing of water from gas drilling sites all over western Pennsylvania. It's not entirely clear how this will affect the ecosystems, but it's already affected the tap water. Around the same time that this occurrence was first noticed, the area's tap water had a, quote, unpleasant gritty or earthy taste and smell and left a white film on dishes. As the Monongahela River is the main source of drinking water for 700,000 people, including most of Pittsburgh, state officials did limit the amount of frac water they accepted to 1% of their daily intake. Yet despite this regulation, natural gas companies are exempt from many national and state environmental laws. Basically, as you also know, it's the most underregulated industry. They're exempt from the Clean Air Act, the Safe Water Drinking Act, and, and the Public Right to Know Act, and just about every other act. So I'm wondering how the state is planning on dealing with the environmental consequences of gas drilling, as energy companies continue to flock towards the Marcellus Shale gas deposits. And I was especially concerned to realize that gas drilling is coming within the city limits of Pittsburgh. Recently, agents from Chesapeake Energy have been asking city residents to sign gas drilling leases in the Lincoln Place neighborhood. I cannot imagine drilling in the city, but it is noisy. It is, it is, um, there is lots of equipment moving around and it will take up to five acres. I cannot imagine how they might do that within the confines of the city and be, um, I, I think it would be very hard.